to the Frazzy Report, a short broadcast by me, the awesome gnome, about the world of Warcraft. Wait, what? You mean I'm not sounding like my normal self? Aw, oh, fooey. I logged into the wrong character. I've been on my Horde Hunter Alt Intel. Hey, well, I guess it's too late now to change over. So this week we saw the announcement of a music festival happening in Vault Dune, the Lyre Festival. And that's Lyre with a Y, which will be a festival held to promote the musical talent across Azeroth. It is being created by Dart Hagglesnap, who we interviewed about the resort of Sargeras on the Broken Shore, and we found out recently that the plans fell to pieces. Some of the investors include Trade Prince Scallywix. The festival will be held in the Cracked Coast, which is between the Terrace of the Devoted and the Port of Zimlan. Just watch out for the Sethrak, Dune Louses, and the San Elementals. A first sub told me that they will be gone before April, which is when the festival is set to take place. They joked about holding it in Dark Shore and even calling it the Fire Festival, Fire with an Eye, but found a documentary on Netflix and Hulu about a similar festival and decided to change their name. They even wanted to call it the Burning Tree as an homage to the yearly event held in Nevada, but Alliance organizers on the committee were none too pleased. This event is being held to promote peace amongst the factions. Musical guests include the cover band that formed after the death of the two members of the Goblin and Gnome band, Ronnie and Claire, who sang the song We Are All the Same in Darnassus, right before it was soundly torched to the ground by Sylvanas' evil clutches. The Goblin YouTube celebrity Vax will be performing his hit song, It's Every Day Doe, at the event. Hope Diamond and Jay the Tavern Bard are amongst some of the BlizzCon talent that the event organizers are hoping to attract. There's even going to be events happening around the festival like rickety plank surfing in Voldoon and kite flying along with the zip lines. Tickets are on sale now, and you can even get a luxury villa suite, which are first come, first serve. Well, I've been Frasley, even if I haven't sounded like it. Sorry about that, I logged into the wrong alt. I mean, it's just been a lot of fun playing my horde. But until next time, be awesome. The Frasley Report is a fan podcast that covers Blizzard games. We are not affiliated with Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. Views expressed by the hosts and guests are their own. The art, music, and sound effects come from Blizzard games and are owned by Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. No copyright infringement is intended. Want more awesomeness every week? Visit weeklyawesome.com. Weekly podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome. This show is brought to you by Dragon Powered Studio. Find more at dragonpoweredstudio.com. Hmm. <laughs>